Hello everyone, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. I've got a drink. Hopefully that helps. Lady Luck's almost done with his, her lunch. And we're gonna go outside and see this door. Door, door, door. <clears throat> I want armor that empowers that? my runic. That's what I want. What am I hearing? What are you hearing? I already heard this, yes. I know about me, dog. Are those some kind of dragons? They're so Pretty far. sure it's me, dog. Can't tell how big they are. You enjoy that, uh, that Trace. I'm gonna open the doorway. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. Miso butter sand. You said it. What? This device here has been crafted butter to your measurements. Okay. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those bifrost eyes of yours. So I uh, do I control this thing somehow then? Uh, oh no, they no, strap no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place <coughs> while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stunning bastard! <coughs> oh! I've never heard Namir swear before. <laughs> at least not at people. Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eye with clamps. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still no us, poison. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Russell, the eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. You're turning the door enough. into a bifrost portal. There. That should do it. Look at that. See? That's no cool. permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, are we fuck? Get to us. Throw me at him. Hold on. Bust. Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. See now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show Great. you. Great, I'll works. be traveling through the dark. You motherfuckers broke my Bifrost and hurt my goat's head. Ooh. Okay. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. Concentrating. Wait, wait, wait. I'm concentrating really hard. No, nothing. I need orange juice. From concentrate. And away we go to Svartalfheim. Here we go, lads. And lasses. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Nidavellir. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. A drunk. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are <laughs> moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said oh, what's luck. that about the Grim Syndrome? Why don't you tell us about those hostile, fellow, foul smelling creatures? What do you mean, good luck? Ooh. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, e everything. It's warm. Hmm, so it is. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh... Careful, lad. Why are these things so fast? Behind you, brother! I see we're already off to a lively stop. 
Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels for the rest. Take all the money. What's the chain in the water for? <laughs> that be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Ooh, probably uh. on the other side of the river. <coughs> Just like Benny, hey? <laughs> that's a that's a mommy joke. I love those movies. Hey, it's the boat. I saw a gameplay trailer for the wolves. Why do I have a boat? I want my bears. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't well, go well. That was your mother, boy. That notion. What your mother she did. She just led rebellions and didn't say business. anything. Did you ever ask? I only on the water. They are resources. And daughter. You had a wife. If you never asked mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. <laughs> and then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Well, not quite the answer he was looking for, Kratos, but okay. Chest. Hello. I will take it. Money is useful. <laughs> wow, the dog's pathetic. You should show them, like. Okay, guys, you're gonna go for a ride for a second. Isn't that not just the most pathetic thing you've ever seen? Okay. That's, that's back to where it should be about, so, okay. <clears throat> Moving on. And it's not like we don't feed Loki. Like, he's had two bowls of food already today. Like, people do. I'm always so concerned with missing things. I have to check every nook and cranny. Not every Tom nook, though. Oh my god, nook's cranny. Did you just get that? Oh my god. Did you literally just get that? <laughs> every nook and cranny. Nook's cranny. Oh boy. Do the words shut up mean anything to you? Nope, not at all. Okay, good. Beautiful. Alright, not missing anything? Alright. Moving forward. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get well, of through. Of course I can turn it. I can turn anything. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. How often do you visit here, from here? Ooh, Norman chests. I remember these. I want to see Atreus try to open the chest. Wait, he's bad, though. That'd be fun. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven what Resistance. Fraid Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Fraid Mars is known for two things. Firstly, one of the great armorers of Svartalheim. Secondly, his sons are all dragons. <coughs> Excuse me? <coughs> <coughs> That's right. Kraidmar fathered the dragons you know as Regan, Fafnir, and Uther. Oh, oh, Fafnir's dad. Okay. 
wasn't a terribly good father by any measure, unless you directly rate one's parental ability to the amount of fire their sons can breathe anyways. But damn if he couldn't make a good set of plate mail. Odin wanted him to design the Einarjar's armor. Hrimdar obliged. By obliged, of course, I mean built a fatal flaw into the armor that would cause the breastplate to snap like stale bread from the slightest blow. About a dozen Einarjar died before the Allfather realized what had happened. They caught Hrimdar trying to escape through a realm travel gate. You can imagine what happened next. Got me be interested in getting these back. Ooh, hello. Better in his hands than out in the open. I'll be taking that. <coughs> what did we get? Apple or meat? Apple. Apple. Ooh, I only need one? Okay. I'll take that. Pretty sure it was just three every time in the last game. Maybe people Think that's dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Yeah. If anyone complained, they're pussies. But I'll take it. Huh? Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Whee! Uh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ow. Ow. Survive though. That's that's the important thing. Uh, we live to fight another day or some shit like that. <clears throat> we fight today to run away tomorrow. He who fights and runs away lives to run away again. One of those ever so inspiring Jack Sparrow quotes. There's gotta be some way to turn the wheel up here. Oh yeah, sure it'll be easy. Oh, oh there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in <laughs> ground. Is that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land is bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from I here? Can <laughs> Wow, nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? Aye, lad. 
Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. Huh. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Okay. Ooh, I recognize that. <clears throat> oh, you've got Idrisil, dude. They had that in the first game. That's like permanent stat increases to certain stats. Oh, it's runic. I love it. Take your money. Take that health. I'll take this chest full of money. Monies. Father, up there. Up we go. Monies. It's got a crack going around the bottom there, and then a little bit of pop here. But what you do to your cup? Nothing. It might have just got whacked while one of us was doing it. Your poor cup. Your poor Hello Kitty cup. That's okay. If something happens, I'll just get some epoxy, and the epoxy will help to fix it. Find anything good up Lots. there? Sun kills way too much. Loki. Did they cap those geysers? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. <laughs> then we will make it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Yes. Wheels moving in the gate coming down. That's 
more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. No! If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us yeah, alone? Fight. No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home, where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But... once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh... not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? Ooh, Let's just keep chest. moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Well, we could try to enjoy the world. I don't know. What do you think? Do it. Ah, oh, the boy set on war. Hey, no, Kratos. Yikes. This place Kratos. is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Yeah, not, not too happy about the Grim, boy. I have an idea. Hey guys. Eat a tree. On your left. Ow! Not going the way I planned it to. Kidding me? <clears throat> that was going so well.
Come on up here. Come on up here. Come get me. Come get me. No. Ah, coward didn't want to come get me. That unlocks the chest. Oh, that's what got me in there. wretches. Bloody wretches. Can't believe I was killed by that. Mine. Okay, well it gives me strength. Better than having not having anything, so I guess I'll take it. And if we come down here. Ooh, runes. Let's read a story, shall we? Good okay. thing you learned the runes, brother. Careful, traveler. This road leads to Nidavilar. Sure, but so too does it lead to dangers beyond mention. If you give a damn about your safety, you will find an alternate route to the city of iron. <clears throat> Should you succeed, find me so I can spread the word of whichever route you took that didn't end with you getting your skin peeled off your body by something hungry and pissed off. Derlin. Ooh, blood mead. I think that's everything here. Wanna yes, get going? that's it. Let's let us go, boy. Yeah. Lay down. Take a nap. Okay. Not you. You and I slept way too late today. Shall we catch it? Blanket. Attack from behind. Okay. Good. Over here. Over here. <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it drops. <clears throat> Mimir tells me this creature is born from an ember that escaped Suther's hammer as he worked his forge. The steward of Muspelheim used his bellows to breathe life into the ember, and its first act of existence was to steal and consume the precious metals. The smith had been using to forge a weapon. <coughs> Mimir tried to tell me Suter found this amusing. Were I Suter, I would not be amused. Father, up there. Oh, father, up there. A chain. I have to whisper so you can break it. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. And we shall find it, boy. Oh. 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 
I knew it. Nista! Oh, he captured the blade. Brother, that gun's trying to fend on high. Eat the head. my attack. <laughs> Just spit shit at me. I get any more skills yet? Give me that one. Boy. Yeah, it's all the aggression when I'm under pressure. That would be fucking useful. <clears throat> Think you can uncover that geyser from here? Yes, boy. <laughs> Hold on. So when the geyser's covered, there's doesn't have the pressure. But if <laughs> I freeze it, it's got more pressure. I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. And if I break it... Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Cavassier poems. A story of relentless genius from the mind of Kavasir. <clears throat> Imagine, dear reader, if you so dare, creatures of metal that screech through the air, that swim through the seas that bound across the land, but are brought to their knees by a warrior's hand. Her origins hidden, her hair red as blood, finding places forbidden buried under the mud, but who is this young girl, who is more than she seemeth? Who will rescue her people and slay these behemoths? Are we talking about fate? Hey, Sam? Oh. Is Kavasi writing of my wife? What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what he was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History. <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. You haven't seen any ravens yet, have you? No. Okay. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely. <laughs> The Me geological either. disturbances I know you can't do anything, though. I know I'm deaf. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. 
Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Nidavellir. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why hold that for us, though? They are scared. It was definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Oh, we're outsiders. We look like badass people. Kratos doesn't exactly look friendly. That's a raven. Hey, could we talk to you for... There'll be no help, to be sure. Yes, we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Nobody's phone calling you. What are you talking about? The buildings here really are incredible. Okay. The detail on the woodwork is it's quite not a phone call, obviously. That is my answer to that. Okay. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or for you. Is it just me or is it really One less feathery spy. What? Is it just me or is it really hot in the house? Just you. Are you cold? No. Secrets for stopping this wheel. It is me. Smack. Sindri, hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. And we are appreciative as always. What do you have for us? Ooh, what did I miss? Thank you. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones would talk. Sorry, kitty. Sorry, kitty. Sorry, kitty. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Uh, he probably minds a little bit. <clears throat> oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. A replacement bow? Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time huh? now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. Whew. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Skialfa. <laughs> Skialfa. Like a ghostly voice in the night. Okay, I don't want to aim at the gate. Okay, fine. Skialfa. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a leader. How was I supposed to know they were there? Find your watchers. Good hit, brother. I love it. Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? 
The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead Aww, to the other side Sindri. of the sewer. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Sindri doesn't want to join us in the sewer. Of course he doesn't. It's gross. That's the alarm, I think. That's a chest. I will take the chest. Kavasir? Another of Kavasir's poems. Being a fictional poem by Kavasir, master of all poets. The armies assembled, nine warriors strong, well rested and fed, for the war would be long. The orb in the air and branches in hand, a swing, a collision, the spectators stand. For nine nights and nine days they fight without rest, running then waiting to prove themselves best. Until finally, mercifully, the army does rout, one army triumphant, the other struck out. As war so often goes. One side eventually has to win. Let it be the side Kratos is on. The side of no war. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's great. Atreus, well. this way. Sorry, Sindri. Best of luck. I appreciate that. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist, and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. We, we may need some special equipment to oh, use this. Okay. My axe isn't special enough, I guess. Ooh, hello. On your right! I like that. Sounds more like a crow. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words. No nothing. Leave! A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. <coughs> Grape's firebomb. Fire I have many regrets concerning the time I spent in Svartalheim. But of those regrets, I may think of Greep the most. Greep was a fantastically angry dwarven scribe. Her furious tre treatises against Odin's financial imperialism might well have spurred the dwarves to outright rebellion had she continued to distribute them. As a wielder of words, she was at least my equal, if not my superior, and her passion and fear fury commanded the respect of anyone who read her writings. When she took the firebomb in hand and burned Aesir camps to ash, others followed her. 
Unfortunately, the downside of having a clear and loud voice is that you're very, very easy to find. The Inner Yard could handle propaganda, arson less so. They found her, and she and all known copies of her writings disappeared. I'd always wish to meet her. I still think of her often. I like to think we'd be friends if she knew me as I am now. Ugh. I really hate the wretches. They're bleh. Um Okay, what about this one? Oh, wow. She wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Good point, though. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's what did mess. Mimir do? What mess? Later, brother. Uh, what did Mimir do? The head's mess? I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head? I've got <laughs> skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Doable. Doable. Shut down some mining rigs. That seems doable. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find <gasps> anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper life. off. Okay. We got a compass. What does it do? The compasses. I know how compasses work. I don't. Come. Go on. Cannot be far. Oh, yes. Everywhere Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. It doesn't sound like anyone's following. At least I get was it right about being the key what here, time. little brother? What? At least I get it right about a quarter of the time. <laughs> That's not a passing percentage, you know. No. No, I know. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. Breaking everyone's pots. Oh look, I missed a gateway. Okay. 
can't do anything with it though, so I guess we'll see. Alright, that is about all the time we have for this episode, as I promised. I mean, this could be a really long series, but I promised I was going to try and keep them between 40 and 50 minutes. Some people want it a little bit shorter. Some people like the longer videos because you get through more. Trying to make you all happy with the middle ground. So this is our cutoff point for this episode. Thank you everyone for joining us. Hope you have a great day. And we will see you in the next video. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.